This is a test of a radio that I'm currently building, which I'm calling the Dueling 612s, uh, Dueling SA612s. Um, it's based on the Sudden 40 by uh, Pete Giuliano and 6QW. If you go to Pete Giuliano's website, there is a schematic of the radio, and at the heart of the radio are a pair of uh, SA612s, which are used uh, in receive and transmit mode. So basically, basically in, in receive mode, the RF comes in, gets uh, mixed here to the intermediate frequency by uh, uh, the LO, and uh, that passes through a crystal filter, comes to another uh, SA612, that gets mixed with the uh, BFO, and uh, audio comes out. In transmit mode, um, he switches the um, LO and BFO uh, frequencies between the two and he feeds in the mic audio uh, into the uh, first uh, SA612. That goes through the crystal filter, uh, gets uh, mixed with the, uh, the LO and that comes out to um, the linear amplifier and is uh, transmitted. In the design I'm doing, I am going to replace this uh, 9 megahertz filter and I'm going to be using the 4.9 megahertz uh, filter that we use in the LBS. So here's a block diagram showing uh, the basic design of the heart of the radio. So basically I'll have the uh, RF, in receive mode I'll have the RF coming into a low noise amplifier. Um, that low noise amplifier will be 50 ohms and uh, the first SA612 uh, that's got an impedance of 1500 uh, ohms so there will be a transformer to match 50 to 1500 ohms um, that uh, I'll be using a 12 megahertz uh, um, LO which will create an IF frequency of uh, 4.9 uh, megahertz that will be fed to the crystal filter. The crystal filter, the 4.9 megahertz crystal filter, is actually uh, um, uh, 200 ohms, and so I'll need a transformer here to change the 1500 ohms, which is the impedance of the SA612, to the 200 ohms of the crystal filter. And likewise, I'll have another transformer here to match the crystal filter impedance to the SA612 um, uh, impedance. That will be fed with the BFO frequency and so the way the BFO frequency will work it will be the intermediate frequency plus or minus an offset. Uh, the plus offset will be for USB and the minus offset will be for LSB and the offset will be uh, 1.5 kilohertz. So here's the board I created for my initial testing of the heart of the radio. So I've got the RF signal coming in here and I've got a MAR6SM low noise amplifier. That's going to a bandpass filter here and uh, that's coming out to my first transformer which is feeding uh, the SA612. Uh, there's the uh, LOs coming from my uh, signal generator and I've got it set to put out um, uh, the LO on one port and the BFO on a second port and uh, the output from that uh, 612 is going to a transformer which is then feeding the crystal filter there's another transformer and that's being uh, fed into the second uh, uh, SA612 and this is the um, the spectrum analyzer and I've got it right now, I've got it tapped in to the uh, um, connection between the transformer and the input of the SA612 and uh, the SA612 is being fed with the BFO that's coming from my signal generator. I'm feeding 7.1 megahertz at minus 73 dBm into the RF in port for the test board and uh, let's take a look at the spectrum analyzer uh, what's coming out of the crystal filter 
right at the input of the second uh, uh, SA612. So as you can see there are two peaks uh, here. The uh, first peak here, uh, marker number one, is 4912859 megahertz. And uh, the second peak here is at uh, 4914380. The difference between the two peaks is uh, 1500 uh, hertz. So this is the actual um, frequency, that's the actual signal that's coming out of the crystal filter. This is the actual BFO frequency that's bleeding through, that's actually coming through the, uh, the SA612 uh, and uh, it looks as if it's it's coming out of the um, a crystal filter, it's not. Uh, that's just an artifact of the uh, uh, BFO going into the uh, uh, second SA612. So here the actual frequency is uh, uh, 4914380. I've got my uh, bandwidth uh, resolution here set to 10 Hertz. So um, that frequency is slightly off from what I had originally calculated as the center of the frequency which was uh, 375 not 380. So I've got the spectrum analyzer now connected to the output of the second uh, SA612. So here's the output from the second SA612 and as you can see there's clearly a peak here at uh, 1.5 uh, kilohertz. One of the things I found out about my spectrum analyzer as I was doing this experiment is that the spectrum analyzer is quoted at uh, uh, bandwidth of 9 uh, uh, kilohertz to uh, 2.1 gigahertz and I found that actually we can see signals that's outside of that bandwidth. I, I wouldn't trust the uh, the power the strength of that signal here because it's outside of the bandwidth but we can clearly see the frequency uh, being present there so right now I've got the BFO set for a uh, lower sideband and if I was to increase the frequency I can get it to uh, tune to uh, upper sideband so as I change the BFO frequency you'll see the peak dropping down and then eventually it's going to disappear and then you'll see the peak slowly starting to reappear as I approach the upper sideband frequency. There it is there. So right there, that's close enough, so it's uh, almost at uh, 1.5 uh, kilohertz.